today we're going to look at a Ford steering column and in many of the Fords today uh, beginning from around 2012 we have a sensor that is a steering column sensor I'm gonna show you really quickly um, how to remove it and what to look out for so we're gonna remove the four 20 Torx bolts and a holding plate here and this is how we usually do it you remove the plate and then you remove the column sensor right here now it's very important that when you are putting the plate back that you're making sure the plate is now aligning aligning with the piston here now if it's not aligning then your plate has been damaged and will either need to be replaced or you will need to bend it back in place to make sure it's aligning back all right this one in particular is aligning just fine so we put it back in place now um, I do want to let you know that by removing the sensor separately from the column you will be saving uh, a lot of time so to remove the steering column it would take you around four hours it's a lot heavier to ship so on and so forth but to remove just this sensor would take you around 10 to 15 minutes and we would prefer that you would send us just the sensor and not the whole column when you send it to us uh, we can just repair the part that is deployed as opposed to the dealership you would have to buy the whole thing so you would be saving anywhere up to 800 plus dollars also another point is a lot of these parts are in back order or uh, they have to be ordered from the factory and um, what we do here is a 24-hour turnaround so you're going to get your part quickly easily and hassle-free let us know what you think of this video or if you have suggestions we're on instagram facebook and youtube so please subscribe and follow if you have any questions feel free to ask like share uh, we would love to get your input